There we go. What's going on, Pedro? What's up, Gray? Nice. Hey, what? So, why are you in the interview room today? I mean, you didn't do anything today, did you? Right? No, I only follow <laughs> Scott's orders. So he <laughs> called me today. I had the privilege to be called by him. So here I am in with you. What What were the emotions like today? I know that Marshall's been a special place for you, and how do you control that? Obviously, you know. It, Coaches talked about that with you from the time that you got on campus, being able to control the emotion. This is a highly emotional day. What, what was that feeling like, and, and how difficult is it to come into a senior night like tonight? Yeah, obviously, you come in as a freshman, you know, when it gets to November, you know, October, you know, senior night is coming, and you never never think it's going to get to your turn. But, you know, today was the time finally for me, you know, after five, four and a half long years. and. I was very pleased for the way it went. Thankfully, you know, in the spring, the senior night was good too when we won the the conference uh, championship here. But today was also very special, you know, how how strong the herd nation came out today, especially on this very ugly day, you know, with this rain after a football game. So, you know, props to them and they singing a song that they came up by themselves in the end, you know, just I just have to thank the support of the fans. Well, to be able to get two goals uh, on senior night, can you script it any better than that? Yeah, not at all, Grant. You know, like obviously in the beginning, uh, we got kind of, kind of shocked by the red card. We wasn't, we weren't expecting back-to-back you know, -back games, and definitely made it harder in the beginning. But you know, as soon as the game equaled, just like Charlotte, we know we when the numbers are the same, we have a better chance. And I knew that I, I was going to get another chance. And Milo. He saw me running the box. I got the first finish. Felt amazing, you know, because not only obviously individual goal, but we needed the second goal to secure the match. And the the second goal when I scored, you know, Alex passed me the ball and I was well balanced, like Chris always says. And I was able to pick a side and and top of the night with another goal. Very happy for that. For you. Just going over the course of your career, when you came here, I know that all the things that you all have accomplished, you knew you had talent, you were kind of under-recruited. Uh, do you feel like you were an underdog story and Marshall was kind of an underdog story, so it was a, that match made in heaven for you? Well, for sure, Green. You know, coming out of high school, I came to high school in America. Like, I had no offers, you know. I visited three Division three colleges, you know, and everybody was telling me to go Division three. And Chris was, you know, I thank him to opening doors for me my first year. I came as a welcome. And in the beginning, my first, my first goal was only to make the trips, the away trips, you know. But from preseason, I went, I came locked in, came ready, prepared well, and and was able to play a lot my first year and just build confidence to me. And you know, get to being able to lift Marshall to a national championship with all these teammates and these wonderful people, you know, it's it's like a movie, you know, and probably the best memory of my life being able to to accomplish that. But most importantly, for sure, is the journey you know, and the people you meet on the way and the memories you make. As you all get ready for next week, obviously you're going to be down, Vitor, um, you were down, Vinny, tonight. It seems like this team sort of rallies whenever the chips are down, though. It's sort of been the Marshall way for a little bit. What do you all expect going into FIU to try and earn a, a CUSA title? No, definitely we have facing faced different challenges this year with men down. But like you said, today we didn't have Vinny. And, but we'll have Vinny, you know, down in FIU. Obviously very unfortunately for Vitor. You know, great player. Got unlucky in a, in a play. And... In 2019, it was my first trophy that we lift as Marshall was the regular season at FIU, you know, and that meant so much to us. And we're going like we did last year, you know, like we didn't win anything yet, you know, very determined. And a new season is a new story. So we're ready to, we're going to prepare well this week and travel there and hopefully bring a, another championship for, for the Herd Nation. No, you're planning on playing in 40 and rain down there in Miami too, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> Maybe 80 and 80 and sunny. You'd rather have it that way. <laughs> nah, I mean, obviously today the rain was very bad, but you know, props the 
I know the football team beat FIU. Hopefully we can do the same uh, next week over there, you know, on top of the regular season. That'll be amazing. All right, buddy. I appreciate it. Congratulations, man. Thank you, Grant. Have a happy Halloween. Bye -bye. Happy Halloween, buddy.